The fastest way to achieve your goals is to model the people who've already achieved the same goals that you have. Model success, success leaves clues, the famous expression, and it's true. People have already figured out the thing that you are struggling to figure out. And the more you are stuck trying to come up with every idea yourself, the harder you're making it on yourself. And this is, man, this is one of the two fundamental lessons that I have learned in my life, my life that has saved my life and my business. My first company, I learned this lesson first when I was 20 years old out of desperation, where I was making no money and struggling and I quit on my business partner. I quit, you know, like I, I can't keep going, I quit. And I modeled Bill Gates, I just asked myself who has done this before, modeled Bill Gates, put it to work, had some success. I've told the story many times, but it's important because that was the thing that saved me. That's, you know, that's what saved my company. You know, in modeling Bill Gates and how we started Microsoft, that's what saved my business and allowed me to keep going. And I'm, I'm now here, you know, if I didn't do that, I'd probably have some job that uh, I'm not happy with. <laughs> 20 years later, still stuck in the same job that I'm not happy with. And that idea came to me at a moment of desperation. It's not even the smartest idea, right? I mean, I wasn't into personal development. I wasn't reading books. I didn't, I didn't know anything. And I wish I had somebody guide me or mentor me. And it, it's a very basic idea, model success. You know, I wish I'd watch videos like this. I wish they were available when I was 19, 20 years old. It really just came out of a moment of desperation where I'm at my parents' home crying my face off because I just quit on this business that I cared about and I didn't want to fail, but I, I felt there was no option. I just felt overwhelmed, frustrated. It just was not working out and, and everything felt lost. And it was only in that absolute moment of crisis that I thought maybe somebody else has done this before. Where up until that point, I felt like I had to come up with every idea myself. Like, oh, maybe we should do this. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we could try this. And nothing seemed to be working. And it wasn't until I asked that question that then I found Bill Gates and how he started Microsoft. And that's what started turning the company around. Whatever problem you're facing right now, it's been addressed many, 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 many times by many, 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 many successful people. <laughs> Your job becomes to find out who they are and to go back and study how they, how they solve that problem. And it's really important to figure out how they solve the exact problem that you're struggling with right now. So what I told myself when I was looking at Bill Gates was, I don't care how Bill Gates makes an extra million dollars right now. How did he get started? How did he go from zero to one? What was the thing that, that built his company up? And for all of these people, the bigger they are, the easier it is to research their story. Bill Gates only came to mind because I had a software company and I just said, who's built a software company? It was not even that structured or thought out or in depth or, or you know, in detail. He was the first guy that I thought of that had a software company. <laughs> Bill Gates, Microsoft, how'd he do it? That was it. And in looking at a story, I found out that Microsoft built their business through partnerships. And their big deal came when they made a partnership with IBM. And IBM at the time was the biggest computer manufacturer on the planet. So the deal was every IBM that was shipped, every computer that was shipped from the biggest computer manufacturer in the world had Microsoft software on it. It was a huge deal that blew up the company. And that was pretty easy to find, right? The, the transitional moment in the company. It's like, wow, okay, partnerships, that's interesting. I, I maybe can do that. But Microsoft was already a $7 million company when they made that deal. Now, seven million was nothing compared to what they would, they would go on to be, right? Billions and billions of dollars. But it was seven million dollars was still more than what I had, right? Seven million dollars felt like a giant company compared to me making 300 bucks a month, right? So the next layer is to dig a little deeper. Not just the, their big break, which is important, but how did they get started? Like, how did they get to the big break? is really valuable. It's really helpful to figure out. And again, the bigger the person is that you're modeling, the easier it is to find the content. You just might have to dig. You might have to go read biographies, read articles, read interviews, watch videos to figure out those early parts, not their just their upbringing, but what were the things that they did that led to the big breakthrough, not just what the big breakthrough was. Big breakthrough is super important, but the steps that led to the big breakthrough, even more important if you're at the beginning getting started. So. Microsoft big breakthrough was the IBM deal, 
they're already $7 million company. How did they get to become a $7 million company? That was the million dollar question. <laughs> Maybe the $7 million question. And it was still through partnerships. So what Microsoft did was they had software and they looked at any hardware that existed that needed software for it. And they would go in and pitch their software. Their first deal was with the MITS Altair. And uh, the MITS Altair was a, was a piece of hardware and it was featured on the, on the cover of, a, of their magazine. That was the big magazine for the computer industry at the time. And they needed software and Bill Gates and, uh, called them up with his partner, Paul Allen, and said, hey, we've got software for the MITS Altair that you can use that will make it a lot more valuable, valuable to people. And they didn't even have it built yet. On the on the on the plane ride over to go meet the company, Bill Gates was finishing up the code to go program, and they hoped that it would work. And luckily, it did when they when they had the meeting. Uh, so I don't I don't necessarily like that part of lying that you've got something, but it's interesting to know how he did it. The the boldness, the the willingness to reach out and say, "Hey, I've got something that can help you," were things that I really struggled with as a 19 year old entrepreneur believing that what I had was great and then I could really solve big problems where Bill Gates was saying, yeah, we got this, even though he didn't have it yet. And he wrote it on the plane on the, on the way over. Right. But it was still through partnerships. And anytime Microsoft was entering something new, they, they found partnerships. And so I applied that strategy to me and I started looking for who can, who can we partner with? Not like a business partner where they own a piece of our company, but who can we partner with that it's a distribution deal. And the first, uh, company that I made a deal with was out of the UK and we had a arrangement for them to represent us in the UK and a couple of the markets in Europe where they would be distributing our product and we made an exclusive deal so that anytime we got a lead from those markets it would go to them and they would be doing their own marketing promotion as well and in exchange for that exclusive partnership they would pay us thirteen and a half thousand dollars up front and I remember I was I was so scared to ask for that. It felt like a giant number. What if they said no, this big potential deal? And uh, and they said yes. <laughs> they said yes. And we had we had money in our bank account for the first time, which was wild and crazy. And that was a fantastic deal for us. And more important is it it set it gave us hope, which is mega important. It gave us momentum, which is mega important. And it gave us a model to keep following. And so what I, what I ended up doing afterwards was let's go get more partnership deals. Let's go get more partnership deals. And the people who ended up buying us was basically a partnership deal. So instead of partnering with our company, they just bought the whole business. And that's how we exited. All because of modeling Bill Gates when I quit on my company. So whatever problem you're facing, personal or business, people have solved it. Humans have been around for a long time. Somebody has solved this problem. You do not have to be a genius and come up with every new idea yourself. Can your creativity and love and panache help? Yes, of course. But you don't have to have the seed for every great idea. And chances are the problem that you're facing right now, there's an answer 10 minutes away from you, from a YouTube video that's, that's online, from a book, from a podcast, from an interview. There's an answer out there for you. And if you just default to saying, I'm going to model success, I'm going to find the people who've done this and exactly how they solve that specific problem that you're facing right now, not how they're living their life right now, but how did they get over the hurdle that you're facing when you can dig deep and find those answers. And again, the bigger the person is, the more accessible the content is. If you want to learn about Bill Gates's early life or Steve Jobs' early life or Oprah Winfrey's early life or whoever it is, it's accessible. It's there. You can find this stuff. And it gives you the hope that it's possible for you. And it gives you the specific strategies that you can use to apply to your life right now so you can start seeing results. Success leaves clues. Whatever problem you've got, go model success. If you want another Evan Rant video that just might give you the confidence you need, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. Discipline is your missing ingredient. You've got the heart, you've got the care, you've got the desire to serve, you know you could be doing more, you wanna do it for the right reasons, you're not just here to make money, you're here to have an impact and to grow and 